One needs to keep in mind that the Israeli state is engaged in the systematic destruction of Palestinian education from primary through universities, although here I will focus on the question of universities. Beginning since, I mean, it has gone on since the, uh, the 1967 war that ed educational institutions have been raided on a regular basis, but I'm going to focus on a more recent period. Beginning the first during the First Intifada, which began in 1987, the uh, Israel Defense Forces closed schools and universities for long periods of time. Bir Zayt, the major, one of the major Palestinian universities on the West Bank, for example, was closed for three years. This wasn't a security decision. It was a decision to deprive Palestinians of one of the basic building blocks of any society, that is, an educated citizenry. The ability for students and professors to continue their education work and research is impede, unimpeded is virtually impossible today. Universities are raided by the military, the Israeli military, on a regular basis and it's important to point out here that Palestinian universities in the West Bank are in Area A which are supposed to be under Palestinian control and yet the IDF enters them all the time. Closures and checkpoints across the West Bank make it impossible for people to make it to school and work. The Islamic University in Gaza was targeted during the most recent invasion, destroying much of its infrastructure. For that matter, Gaza students cannot attend universities in the West Bank. They can't get permits from the Israeli authorities to do so. Palestinian students and professors who get fellowships or other kinds of invitations to speak or study abroad are often denied exit permits, and there are severe restrictions on foreign professors who want to teach at Palestinian universities. Permits are not given by the Israeli uh, government and many uh, people who try to go in are turned around at the airport at the moment of entry. One more point worth mentioning. Israel controls the shipment of all books into the West Bank and clearly into Gaza insofar as they control all border points unless it comes through Egypt and they don't permit many of them through, especially books from major Arabic publishing houses in Lebanon and in Egypt for example. And in the face of all those restrictions on, Isra on Palestinian education, Israeli universities remain silent, or more accurately, they have remained silent at best. At worst, and very commonly, they have come out in explicit support of Israeli state policies, such as in support of the, of the war on Gaza in, 1940, 19, sorry, in 2014, which Alana mentioned. Yes, not all professors at uni Israeli universities, not all professors at Israeli universities remain silent, although it's worth mo mentioning that most do, but their institutions have remained silent and have been ex have at best and have been explicitly supportive at worst. And it is their institutions, not them as in individual scholars, that we are calling upon the AAA to boycott. 